This week on Monster Model Review, we have the Parts Pit, an official Monster Scenes Limited fine resin model kit. Produced by Jim and Judy's Horror Models, with permission by Demcon, the holder of the Monster Scenes trademark, this 1 13th scale kit fits into the classic Aurora and newly reissued Monster Scene kits released by Mobius Models and Dencom perfectly. Created by Monster Scenes Limited sculptor James Webb, this is the kit that brings the Monster Scenes diorama together. The parts bit adds floor space to the overall collection and gives a moody backdrop of excellently sculpted stone, cement, wood, and Dr. Deadly's lab fixtures, which enclose the set and creates a more picturesque scene. The kit comes in 43 parts, including two metal chain links and some copper wire. The pieces were cast very clean with little work was involved in cleaning the pieces and due to the creative way the kit is put together, there is not a lot of seam work to do. There was a little flash on the hooks and shackles, just take your time while cleaning and read the instructions well before cutting anything. The instructions are very helpful and the special instruction sheet of helpful hints in building the kit is a must. Once everything was cleaned, I primed the kit and using a dry brush technique and washes and stains, I painted the kit up pretty quickly. The only conversion I did while building was to add a different chain for the gallows and the shackles. I had a chain laying around that a friend made that fit into the monster scenes look perfectly, so I used both hooks on the gallows and put the shackles on one length of the chain to make a manacle. For the bubbling pit, I dry brushed in bright greens, detailed the skeleton, and put a high gloss coating to make it look more like liquid. And for the metal pieces like the cages, grates, and instruments, I started with black, dry brushed gun metal and a lighter brushing of silver and washed in rust colors. I matched the floor colors from my Monster Scenes hanging cage and my original Aurora paint parlor, added a couple figures, and was finished for now. The Parts Pit is named after Parts Pit's Mike's website that is an excellent site for finding those hard to find stray pieces to your classic collection that you may have lost over the years or just need some conversion pieces. With over 1200 parts listed, this free forum was created after spending too much time looking for these pieces and having to buy more parts than you usually needed. Parts Pit Mike is always looking for lists of extra parts you may have sitting in your drawer, parts that someone else could use to complete a kit and also for add-on or replacement resin parts that are complementing existing kits. The Parts Pit site has a lot more than that with great information on classic Aurora kits and the new retro kits. Check it out at thepartspit.com. As an avid model scenes collector, here are some of Parts Pit Mike's pictures of his Parts Pit and of Jim and Judy's first release in the Monster Scenes Limited series, Dr. Dudley's Den. The kit was the result of a conversation between Jim Webb and Parts Pit Mike who wondered if there was a kit that could take advantage of all the extra arms and legs provided in the Monster Scenes kits. The Parts Pit certainly has storage for these limbs. For more information on Jim and Judy's Horror Models, you can check out their website at jimandjudyshorrormodels.com. The Parts Pit and Dr. Dudley's Den bears the official Monster Scenes Limited brand and is available at the Parts Pit website at thepartspit.com. And you can check out more of our videos and link to the site at monstermodelreview.com. And thanks again for watching.